Good morning, my friends! Welcome back to another Apples and Tiara's vlog. If you are new here, my name is Charlotte and I am a fourth grade science and social studies teacher in the East Valley of Arizona. So today is Monday, April 25th, and I'm starting this vlog at home in my office because today's vlog is going to be a real week in the life of a teacher. So I'm just going to get you guys started right now. Also, in case you guys are wondering, my new glasses are by Zimf Optical. I'm going to have them linked down in the description box below as well as a coupon code and a direct link to these. I actually have these same ones in white. These are the hoodie, um, I forget the number, but they're the hoodie ones. You guys know my really big white ones. Well, these are the exact same glasses, just a different color. They're like literally my favorite. I don't know why I have a really big head and like a round face. So I feel like bigger, thicker square glasses make my face look slimmer and that's why I get such big glasses. So anyway, these are gonna be linked down in the description box below and you can check them out. Okay, so it is like 7.15 and I'm not out the door and usually on Mondays I'm like, way earlier than this getting to school because my husband takes cash to school but today my husband is working an overtime shift this morning so we're kind of all of us are together up in the morning getting ready at the same time which is kind of chaotic but it's working and it's fine and it's not a big deal because I have everything prepped for today and tomorrow at school so I don't really need to rush at all um, I'm gonna be doing mystery science if you guys don't know what that is I will link mystery science down below it is an amazing amazing resource for science teachers um, but I'm gonna get past that so this morning I'm actually enjoying a liquid IV um, it's one of my favorite favorite supplements if you guys are interested in checking out liquid IV or maybe you haven't tried it there's a couple of different places to get it you can get it using my link and my coupon code which will be linked down below but it's also available on Amazon, Costco, um, they even sell it at Target, uh, Sprouts. But if you use my code down below, you will get a nice little discount. So I will have that link down below. But I am going to enjoy this this morning. My husband, so nice, made me some eggs. And um, so I didn't have to worry about making breakfast. Oh, good morning. Morning. You look so concerned, what's wrong? I don't know if this is mine or not. Which one? Oh, it can be. Do you no. want it? No, that's what I asked. Are you sure? Do you want it? No, well, because if you need that for dinner, you eat it for dinner. Well, I wasn't going to have it for dinner. That's mine? Yeah. That's mine? Yeah. Are you sure? Those are mashed potatoes and Brussels sprouts. Yeah. There's no more left. It's fine. Eat them. No. Save, save me the sushi. You keep that. I'm going to save you two. You don't have to save me two. Just save me one. How many ounces are they each? I know you want a meatloaf. How many ounces are they? Thanks for my breakfast. Dad, I like this <laughs> he likes them. Oh, we got flax seeds. You guys want to see a secret? Children <laughs> hack. <laughs> okay, secret mom hack. Whoa, I almost died on that rug. This rug, this rug keeps slipping out from underneath us. Okay. This is the secret. At Sprouts, they have these dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, 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 <laughs> flax chocolate brownies. 
They only have 10 grams of sugar in them, which is kind of a lot, but it's the same amount of sugar that he would get in like a Z-bar, so why not give him like the flax and stuff to go with it? I don't know where my Birkenstocks are. Oh my God, this thing is like... I'm just trying to open my thing. Whoa. Yeah, if you do it slowly, it would work better. No. Okay, Cash, you ready? Where's your shoes? Water's in your backpack. Those bulls. Oh yeah? yeah? Did you have fun watching it? I did. One guy actually woke for, went for 8.5 seconds. He won it in the end. Wow. The top, the top, uh, the top guy mm -hmm. didn't even place. He, the world guy? Yeah. Did the, he get to go again? He, no, he was their, uh, the number one seed the whole time. Uh -huh. And uh, he got on that bull in about 2.5 seconds and threw him off. Dang. He slipped off and he couldn't. They, they said that uh, they weren't going to let him try again. So. My new bracelet. Yep. All right, you guys. So it is now 10:07, and this morning was like crazy I got to school at like 7 30 on the nose which is my contract time it's also the time that I have to drop cash off at preschool Are you ready? yeah just a second I just oh. <laughs> um, and then I had bus duty at 7 40 so I had like my cart and my purse and like all my stuff with me out on duty and <laughs> and then I got upstairs like the second the kids did. So I had to spend my morning like putting things away and like getting things organized. Luckily, I had everything ready for today's lesson, which is all I needed. So it just was a crazy morning. So anyway, the kids are at specials right now. Block one went really well. The kids were really, really, really well behaved. Um, I don't know what it is, but Hopefully today, all of them are like that and well behaved because I could use some uh, some easy going, you know what I mean? So anyway, I'm gonna go sit in Mandy's room and just chill for a little bit since I have everything ready for tomorrow. I do have a science investigation tomorrow that my student aid will be gathering everything for, so I don't need to worry about that. And I have a survey to answer, like I have to answer some survey questions. So I'm gonna do that, and then have a snack, and we'll call it a day. All right, my friends, it is now lunchtime. I'm gonna go into Mandy's room to eat, so that I'm not sitting in here by myself. For lunch today, I have some delicious sushi from Sprouts, and I'm going to be grading some concept models from my last unit, and hopefully I can get those done during lunchtime. I would like to be completely done grading those by the end of the day so that I can input scores and send that off to my principal. We're doing this like teacher effectiveness evidence thing where we have to submit like how much growth our kids made and then be prepared to share evidence with them for our summative and so I'm using this assessment as my evidence so I'm gonna make sure I have all of that ready to go then I can input stuff this afternoon during my
Alright, when you are hungry, you can just go to the refrigerator or the pantry and grab a snack. Yeah. Well, I have to ask my parents. Yeah. So you have to ask your parents. But you can feed yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's not that easy for all other animals. Give me a fist of five, how much more time you need to finish writing what you know this. Remember, we're not sharing yet. Nuts, berries, bugs, hugs. I'm filming. I never said the whole thing. Alright, I'm going to have you guys do a stand and sit share. So that just means that we stand up, each person speaks, when they're done speaking they sit down. Okay, please stand. And then each of you will take turns sharing what you noticed. When you're done sharing you will sit down. If someone at your table noticed something that you didn't, feel free to add it. Yeah. Even if it passes your three sentences, you can add it. Remember, the more you notice, the better. Okay, ready? Go ahead. So, Ellie, look at the video. What do you notice about the owl's body parts? Which ones are they? Is he using to catch his prey? Huh? His feet. Write it. I got the actual. He uses his feet. Thank you to that table for sitting down. I know you're not done yet, but thank you guys for remembering to sit. Don't forget your quiet cheetahs if you're done sharing. I see that the owl is its feet. Is my mouth still moving? That means I'm still talking. That's what you're noticing. I see that the owl is using its tongue to catch its prey. But the owl flies really loud. So I love how Aaliyah and Aiden are both silent. They're done talking about what's been asked to share. And so they're both sitting there silently waiting. I'm gonna let Jojo select three people to share out. No, no. no. Those yes. people will get an extra point. Yay. Oh, I wanna share out. I don't want to share. Don't share. So first will be Jackie. What did you notice about how the owl catches its prey? What body parts did you notice it using? I noticed that it catches like like it uses its wings and like its like feet to like catch it. Okay. And like its eyes to like see it. Okay. So eyes, wings, and feet. If you wrote those three words, you could give her some positive feedback. Okay. Thank you, Jackie. Let's hear from Ellie. What's one that you wrote? He uses his feet. His feet. Okay. Yes. Okay. We'll say it's a Why not? And last one, Emery. I'm hungry. It uses its talons, wings, and eyes. Talons, wings, and eyes. Okay, so new word, feet, talon. Um, the talon is more of like a claw with a, a sharp nail, right? Okay. Yes. I hope you know that it uses its hips and upper body. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of thinking, okay? I want you to think about how do the parts that you wrote of the owl work together to catch that prey. Wait, what? 
How do those body parts oh. that you just mentioned, how do they work together? Like how do you you think can they think they of this as like a narrative, like, well, the wings do this, and then the that does that, and then this does that, and that's how they work together. This does the this. Another thing I want you to think of, there's two things here, is what is similar to the owl's body to our body? It has. What are some parts it has that we have? Oh, would you say its mouth? Write it down in your think section. Does its mouth serve the same function that ours does? Yes. Yeah. To eat with? It doesn't say To make noises with? Ow, wow, wow. Okay. Woo! All right. I love how Jace is writing silently. Vanessa, thank you for writing silently. Yep, this is all going in our think section. These two questions. Well, so we just write like you just answer these two questions. How do the parts of the owl's body work together to catch this prey? And the second one is, how is the owl's body similar to ours? Hey guys, so it is now the end of the day and I am just sitting here getting a few things prepped for a lesson for tomorrow, which involves every kid getting 18 or so inches of string. They're gonna be making a robotic finger, which is really freaking cool. So I'm just sitting here cutting some string and I'm enjoying a little snack. The internet at our school is like coming in and out, so I'm just kind of sitting here watching YouTube videos, listening to music, is what I usually do when I sit in my room and work by myself. I usually like watch whatever like YouTubers I'm into at the moment or I'll catch up on a TV show that I'm watching and I'll just have a snack. Today I'm having some cucumber and I'm dipping it in tzatziki sauce. I got this one at Aldi. Um, we just got an Aldi opening up in our city. The, uh, in the last couple of months, so that has been really nice. But today was pretty good. Um, all of my classes did really well behavior-wise until my homeroom got to me. They were just a little bit too wound up, a little too wild, and um, and it was just not an enjoyable time for me. Um, the, the, the thing that really gets me the most, like I don't really have any like bad behaviors, like. The kids aren't really disrespectful. Like they're very respectful. They're kind to me. Like for the most part, they're kind to each other. They're very comfortable with each other, which is, you know, can be good and can be bad. But the biggest thing is like being quiet when I ask them to be quiet. And to me, that's disrespectful. If I ask you guys to do something without talking, you should be able to do it without having to be reminded four or five times. And this is a class that's getting ready to celebrate a class reward. They just earned it and we already voted for it. So I have half a mind to like hold that over them because I don't think that once you get the reward that you should be able to just start behaving badly just because you already earned it. Like I just don't think that that's fair. Um, so anyways, Rewards can be taken and postponed, which I have every intention of doing if it becomes a problem. Come in! Hey! 
name? Huh? What? Oh yeah. What are you up to? Good morning guys. Happy Tuesday. So I'm just walking through the door. It's about 728 right now. Um, I have to get cash downstairs and then I have duty. But I was so silly yesterday. I was busy prepping all the stuff for my mystery science lesson today and I totally forgot to print everything. So I'm like rushing to print everything. I'm praying that there's ink in the printer. We've been like in and out of having toner and ink and it's just like we never know day to day if we're gonna have something. So I'm hoping and praying that we do. Um, so I'm just gonna run and print a couple of things really quick and then drop cash off for preschool and then run to my bus duty. And while I'm standing here, I should be turning on all my lights and my TV because I'm not gonna be up here until kids are up here. And you and I both know that when you don't have things ready for when kids arrive, things can get a little bit chaotic. So I'm just gonna make sure that I have everything printed and ready to go and everything up on the screen that I need to have up on the screen. Print, ooh, Cash, don't play with that, please. Those, I think that's it. I just had to print the one thing. All right, so we're good. <laughs> hey guys, so it is now my prep time. I have about five minutes left, but remind me to show you guys the really cool hands-on, literally hands-on activity that we're doing in science today. It was super fun, um, but it did spark a lot of like weird comments, like conversations, um, like, Give me your finger. Can I have your finger? Let me see your finger. Give me my finger. It's just weird stuff. Um, also, a few of you probably noticed that I'm wearing hair extensions. I'm gonna link those down in the description of this video so you can check those out. And if you're interested in um, like how I put them in, just comment down below and I can make a video showing you guys how I put my hair extensions in my hair to make sure that they blend well. The only thing I hate about wearing hair extensions is that I'm like constantly wondering if you can see them, which I don't think you can. I'm going to turn around. Um, so I'm always asking my students, can you see my hair extensions? Can you see anything? Um, I'm not trying to fool anyone. Like they all know that my hair is fake. It's just, they've got my back. They'll tell me if something's showing. Wow, this video is like full of ads. I wanted to show you guys, I don't know if you've seen these on Instagram or online, the name stamp brand, but um, I ordered these a couple of weeks ago. Actually, I'm doing a collab with them, so I will link these guys in the description below as well. Um, but they're really cool. You can like personalize the stamp to be your child's name or your name, and the ink is totally machine washable, so it doesn't wash off. So I ordered two, I got this cute little hamster. I'm calling it a rat, because I have rats, but. Anyway, so you get the little hamster, and then you can personalize the stamp to be whatever it is that you want. And so mine actually says, let me stamp it better. Mine says, no, mine says Mrs. Valdez, and there's a crown. Isn't that cute? And then I actually ordered one for cash because when I send him to school with like jackets and stuff, um, the, I can stamp his name on them. You guys can kind of see there. And then I'm able to put his name on things like his lunchbox, his backpack, jackets, t-shirts, um, extra clothes, things like that. I can just kind of pop his name stamp on there and then it never washes away. Hi. Your finger. Give me your finger. Can I have your finger? Can I borrow your finger? Let me see your fingers. Let me see your fingers. Let me see your fingers. Let me see it. 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 Let me Okay, yeah. ready? Yeah. Your, your joints are a little crooked. It's okay. It still bends. Who needs joints? Who needs joints? Dangerous. Put the bag up there. Wave at me. <laughs>
Club. I have to blur your faces. Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So today's gonna be kind of a chaotic day. I probably won't have a ton of time to check in with you, so I'm just gonna kind of give you a heads up on how the day's gonna go. So today is Wednesday, it is a half day. Today is also the day of our invention convention, which is our school-wide science and math night. And so all of the students in our school, K through third grade did class projects, fourth through eighth grade did individual or partner projects. So basically the project was um, to make an invention and to create a poster to go with it. I took it up a notch and did the Shark Tank project that I've done in the past where basically like they have to write a speech um, and then tonight they will actually have judges so we're gonna give parents and like teachers these gold coins and tell them to give it to a student who they think that they would invest their money in their invention like they would like to see it actually made so we're making a kind of a competition the student who gets the most coins wins like a prize whether it's like I don't know, a soda or like lunch from their favorite restaurant or whatever it is. They'll win like, you know, creativity award or something like that. Um, and so today's gonna be kind of crazy. So we get out at 1245 and then I'm supposed to take all of the projects down to the gym, which I'm crossing my fingers that they let us do at some point during the school day because I don't wanna take 75 projects down there. That just doesn't sound like fun. Um, Hi, baby. <laughs> um, and then once I do that, I'm free to come home. So I'll probably come home and chill for a little while while this guy's at school, pick him up. And actually, I'm going to pick Millie up, which is my dear, dear friend Mandy's daughter. She goes to school with Cash, too. I'll pick them up, bring them here, get ready, eat dinner, and then I have to go back to work tonight at 5.30. So Mandy is not required to be there tonight. She's an ELA teacher. She just did a dance um, the other night where she chaperoned. Oh, no, look at that camera. So um, she is not required to attend this evening, so she's going to actually stay here with Millie and Cash and Aiden. If you guys have been here a while, you know who Aiden is. Um, but they're just going to chill here until I get back at 7. Mommy. What is it, Jack? Why do you look so sad? Mommy. What? I was eating my muffin. <gasps> you left it in there? Okay, go get a new one. Hopefully she doesn't get sick. So yeah, so it's gonna be kind of a crazy day. I will try to vlog as many little clips as I can if I think about it. Um, but other than that, I'll see you guys tomorrow, Thursday. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I'm tired. I'm a tired person. <laughs> Did I what? After Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Yeah. 
Mondays to go on a trip. Hmm. We're going on a trip tomorrow. Go see Nana. And Papa. Tomorrow when we're asleep. Anyways, I'm really, really tired. Last night I got home at like 7. And then um, got cash ready for bed. I like took three melatonin because I was like, I want to go to sleep. This morning I woke up kind of groggy though. Um, which is kind of something that can happen if you take melatonin. <laughs> so anyway, you can have a muffin. Well, actually you've had, you had a bar instead. Honey, listen. You can't have a bar and a muffin, okay? What did I say? I'm just getting this off. Okay, that's fine. You can go ahead and touch it all you want, but you're not having one. Um, so anyway, I am just really tired. Look at my poor chin. It's been stressful. It's just been a, stress a stressful week. Um, so I'm just going to make myself some coffee. And then it's 6.35 right now. We have plenty of time to get packed up and I need to pack myself a lunch. Yesterday I was stuck at school like all day. So I ended up going to Taco Bell, which was so delicious. But now obviously I regret it. Um, my stomach doesn't hurt or anything. It's just like I'm probably going to break out from it. But it's fine. So, let's see, the question is, do I make fresh coffee or do I just pour it from my little jug? I think I might just pour it from my little jug and call it a day. You guys wanna see the full load of junk that I'm hauling with me today? Okay, so we have gym bag, which by the way, this backpack, literally, game changer. The shoes go in the bottom. There's room in there for their clothes, your supplements, everything in there. Love it. I do need to charge my headphones though, so I need to bring those inside. I just have to find them. <laughs> um, and then the cart. Hmm. Good work, baby. But you need a different shirt on. Because you're wearing your jammy shirt. Okay, we've got Cash's backpack, Cash's lunch, Cash's water, my water, my lunch with a full thing of coffee in it because I'm going to need that today. And of course, my purse, which sometimes I don't even see the point in bringing a purse because it just sits under a desk. What I should do is bring like a teacher bag, but I also don't see the point in that either because I don't bring work home with me, so... Whatever, it is what it is. Got my coffee. It's gonna be fine. Luckily I have everything ready for today. I don't have any like prepping to do. Well, I do have to print a couple things, but that's just printing things. And as long as there's no issues with the printers, then we should be good. 